and welcome there guys my name is Matt from Jasco Consulting and today I'm going to be going through the new meetings updates in Microsoft Teams so to begin with I'm going to start by creating a meeting so in the meet now section this is somewhat new uh, just means that you don't have to actually schedule a meeting for a time period and all these settings are okay I'm just going to be meeting with myself today so here I am and we're just going to go join now now this will jump in and we'll try and get us to invite some more people. So it's just not a meeting by ourselves, but just for this video, I will just be in here. All right, so the new features for us. Let's put this on big screen, make it nice and easy for us. Um, so in the show participants section, we're going to be able to um, have three new options. So in this meeting, because there's only myself, we're not going to have that. However, there is um, a lobby section. There is presenter presenters and then there's attendees. So that's if you were having more like a webinar sort of style, but it actually does categorize the people in this right-hand section into those different categories. And we can, of course, also search people in that top bar. So if we had a big um, big list of people in a massive organization, we could search and we could call them from there or we could iron them from there, anything like that, which makes it nice and easy for ourselves. Um, in the conversation, this has been very, very similar. Um, same over the last few years, I guess, like in Teams. Um, one of the newer features, I guess, would be the um, hand up or the emojis here. And this was actually quite a really handy feature. We had our Jasco webinar about hybrid work the other day. Um, and this like really helped with a lot of engagement. We had some questions and um, also we were able to kind of like present a bit more um, engaging content where people could you know give it a thumbs up or give it a love heart or something along those lines and for, of course in the raise hand section means that you can ask a question anytime so those are the new sort of features in that what I'll do is I'll take you into the more action section and we're just gonna have a look at the different meeting options so in these meeting options this is where you can um, if you were to have a bigger meeting or something you can change how people can get into there so there's a couple of different options now with the bypass lobby so who can bypass the lobby everyone that means everyone can just jump in if they have the link all good um, anyone in the organization or guests well, can jump in uh, people in the organization and guests all good um, only myself or people in the organization. So there's just a couple of different options there now, um, which are just quick, easy settings that you can do. Um, you can also let the people bypass the lobby if you want to. And then here's where we change if we wanted them to have a mic or a camera when they were joining the meeting. So if it was a larger meeting, you probably wouldn't want um, them to have their mics or cameras on. Um, even just if you wanted to spotlight one person, it just makes for a nice and easy meeting that is very efficient. Cool. So the next section I'll show you is also meeting notes. I think this is a really handy little thing. I'm going to click on it here. Now what we can do is if we go take notes, um, someone can write the notes from in the meeting here. And what it will do is it will actually come out to the meeting here. And we'll, all the notes will come into that section there. So I'll come back to here. So any notes we take in that meeting will go to a separate tab of the actual um, meeting event itself. And you'll be able to have those notes to look at later um, as well, which is really handy. So the final feature I'll show you guys today is probably in the breakout rooms. Um, now these are somewhat recent, but um, they've got a couple of different updates to them. Now this is where you'd have multiple people. You can select how many rooms you'd like to have. Um, We'll just go with five, doesn't really matter. And then automatically or manually choose who you want in each room. So after we create that room, it's gonna just be able to send us out, no stress. Here we go. Fantastic. Now, so we've got all these different rooms. They're all empty at the moment because we don't have any participants in the call. But what you would have is if you had five people, one each per group, all that sort of thing. Um, but then the feature that they've just added recently is in the settings. So we can change the groups up if we wanted to. We can delete a group if we wanted to. But in the room settings, the new feature they've added is a time limit. So this is really fun. Um, we can have um, for quick brainstorms or we could have for, um, you know, um, the sales meeting in their, their group versus the finance meeting in their group. We just have a 30 minute quick meeting, everyone, and then we all join back together sort of thing. So we could do, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes and then just all jump back into the same call. So I think that's a really handy feature for um, efficiency and productivity there. And that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the meeting updates. Um, let me know if you need any other questions, but that's it for today and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.